Julie, and I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make a basic menu UI system in Unity. So the first thing you're going to want to do is install Unity if you don't have it already. So just Google Unity, go to their website, and install it. Just use the uh, personal version, uh, which is free. And there you go. I already have it installed, so I'm just going to click on the desktop icon to open it up. And then I'm going to create a new project. Just call it a main menu, I guess, or something. Uh, set it to 2D, create project. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is just make a simple background, so go 2D object, or well, okay, right click, 2D object, sprite, set that to, click on this little thing here, set that to just this background picture. Change the scale. So it covers my whole background. And we'll click on this here to change the color to something nice looking. You now, if you actually wanted to use something other than the default things, you could just save it to your assets folder. Just drag and drop it in, but I'm just going to go with these because it's easier. So then I'll create a button. So just UI button. Um, click on that little arrow so I can change the text. So this will be the button that takes us to play our game. So just call it play. I can change the size of the button if I want. So I'll make the width a little smaller to make it look nicer. There we go. Um, one important thing with canvases is that you want to go to canvas and change the UI scale mode to scale with screen size. Otherwise, when you have different size screens, it's going to be different sizes. This includes like testing it here in the editor and testing it like on your laptop full screen. So you definitely want to do that or it's going to get really annoying. So we've got that button. Um, I guess I'll create another button like a quit button. So UI button. Change that width again. It's on top of, of our first button. So you can either type in here to manually change the X and Y positions can go over here, click and hold, move your mouse to move it around. So I'm just going to do that so I can move it underneath my play button. There we go. And I will just change the text on this button. So this just says quit. And then we're going to need some, to, some scripts to attach for a button. So let's go into assets to create C sharp script. Uh, let's see, we'll call this one quit on uh, click and create another one. Probably, oops, we'll just call that load scene. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, okay, it didn't like me. So I can just double click on that to rename it. Load scene, here we go. Scene on click. Cool. All right, and then I will save the scene that I've made here. Save scene. Just call it main menu. And then file new scene because we need a scene that we can technically call our game so I'll just make that like a background picture that's like a different color I guess just so we can see it change color and know that something happened there it's beautiful 
Actually, you know what? Oops. Call it game. I'll even be fancy and add go UI text. Add some text that says this is a game. Oh, there we go. It's a game now. Okay, so I'm going to go edit this. So I'm just going to double click on it. And it should open up in Mono Develop. If when you installed Unity, you checked um, Microsoft Visual Studio, that might be the program it, it opens up in. But if you don't download that, the default is Mono Develop, which personally I prefer. And OK to convert to Windows line endings. OK, so this is our script. So load scene on click. Uh, we don't need the start and update functions. And because this is um, because we are loading scenes, we need to add another thing up here. So using Unity dot scene management. Also, I can use the arrow keys to move between these, select the one I want, hit enter. So that's a nice autocomplete feature. Um, so we'll create a new function. Uh, public, this is important so that we can access it. Uh, void, because it's not returning anything. Uh, I guess we'll just call it load scene. Ooh. Uh, do those brackets so I can put my text in there. Uh, so notice how this is new behavior script and that says load scene on click. I'm going to change this so this says load scene on click because otherwise we will start running into errors. Because Unity does not like if you name the class and the file different things. All right, there we go. So I'm going to pass a um, string new scene that way if this was a, a bigger game then we could conceivably use this to load a lot of different scenes based on changing the string so that can save you like hours of time if you're making a gigantic game i know because i did this the hard way so then the line of code that we're looking for is scene manager load scene Load scene, and then we want to pass it our scene. Well, if I was just going to have this not be customized, I would pass it our scene, which would be, I believe, game. Yes, game. But because I want this to actually be able to be customized for different ones, just pass it new scene. Editor scene manager. Scene manager. Autocomplete. Hmm. Unity engine. That would be my issue. Okay, so just kidding. It's Unity engine, not Unity editor. All right, so that should be a nice piece of code. And then I'm going to go open our code. Put in click script. Again, we're not going to need the start and update. Those would be more for like objects that you have in the scene rather than just little quick functions for buttons. All right. Uh, public void quit application. And this actually won't work when we test it in the editor. We'll actually have to build project. Cool. Okay. I am missing something. So this is a uh, when Google is really nice. Quit. Okay. Z 
in Unity Engine and System.Collections. And I guess I was more specific there. So maybe they care about that. Fusion document. Fusion document. I mean, that's the same exact thing. Oh, okay. So they don't like that. Not exactly what they did. Application not quit. That is like the exact. Oh, I'm an idiot. It's a function. So even though we're not passing anything to this function, we still need the bracket at the end. This, by the way, is like, I don't know, I'm going to say a good 80% of coding is realizing that you made silly mistakes like that. So, okay, yep. Oh, and by the way, whenever I'm testing to see if this works, I'm just hitting this button here to compile it. All right, so that should be good. Okay, so then I'm going to go to, oops, I'm going to double click here to open our main menu, hit save, save changes to our game. All right, so now we have our buttons. So there are two ways that we could add stuff to our buttons. You go to your button, scroll down, on click, click your little plus. So they look like they want to take an object. So you can create an object, like say a, a blank sprite or something, attach your script to it and then drag it in there. Or what you can do is just do add component. So, oh, which button is this? This button. Oh, this is why you name your buttons. This button says play. All right, so I'm going to name this play. Enter to save that. Then this is our quit button. Quit button. All right, play button. Okay, right, so we're going to add component to our play button. Play button needs not quit, but to load the scene on click. All right, and then the object that I'm going to pass it. So I'm going to lock this. So that means when I click on other things, it will not change. And we're still seeing, oh, dear, what did I just do? Great. OK. Why is there another text? OK, cool. Anyways, when I click on things, it doesn't change which one is selected over here. So then I can easily just click on this. So wait a minute. Um, we are OK, we're on a play button. So click on our play button. Drag it over, go to load scene on click, load scene, string. So it wants a string. We've got this little box here, so we can give it our string. So it was called game, so I'm just going to do game, all lowercase. Definitely um, remember to use the correct case, that's important. Okay, so that play button should work. And then I will go make this quit button. Undo that so we can get to our quit button. There's a quit button. Add component. Quit on click. Cool. Pass that there. Go to quit on click. Quit, and then we're not passing it anything, so there's not even a box here, so there's not even an option to try and pass it any arguments. Save that. Okay, so we can go test this. Hit play to test. Okay. Hit play. Scene game couldn't be owned, couldn't be loaded because it hasn't been added to the build settings. So if you want to add new if you want to uh, switch scenes, you have to add things to the build settings. So file, build settings, add open scenes. So that added our main menu. I'll just go to game, file, build settings, add open scenes. There we go. Okay, so now Yep, so there now when we hit play, we go to our lovely game. 
and when I hit quit, it shouldn't do anything because it doesn't really work in the editor, but yeah, but you'll be able to see when I build it. So there's our amazing game. It's perfect. It's beautiful. We're going to sell it for a million dollars. Uh, so file, so we have to build settings before, so we'll go there again. Added all our open scenes. We're on the scene that we want to load up when we load the game. Uh, this is a Windows computer, so build it for Windows. So I will hit build. Where do I want to save it? Uh, obviously to my desktop. Oh, also, don't save it to the default folder, because the default folder generally happens to be the project folder, like where all your stuff is already saved and it generally tends to corrupt your whole project if you do that. So, fun fact. Um, file name, obviously gonna be awesome, super fun game. Save it to my desktop, sure. Go, Unity, go. I believe in you. I swear if you crash, I will not be happy. Cool. Keep going. Oh, oh, the bar moved. The bar moved. It's getting closer. It's gonna build. Someday. Like, next century, maybe. Okay, there we go. Okay, so then it opens up that shoot. So there's my, my desktop, but if I just go to my, come on. Oh, okay, there we go. Just go to my desktop. Oh, there we go. It's got the same Unity symbol as the one that we clicked on before. So I can double click on that. Um, there we go, hit play. Oh, look, I made a game with Unity. Oh, look, I can play or I can quit. Oh, let's play the game. Oh, cool. Hey, look at me not including a quit button on the game. Isn't that great? Control, delete to force close this. So, yeah, note to you guys when building games, make sure to include quit buttons. You can always exit without having to do that because that's kind of annoying. But if I wanted to just load up the game and then immediately quit, Rage quit this super fun main menu. Quit. There we go. Quit the game. All right. So that is how to build a main menu in Unity. Uh, I would say subscribe for more, but I don't actually know if we'll be making more of these. Uh, oh, buy my game, Immune System TD. It's really cool. Yeah. Okay, bye.